What is resilience for you? Come back. Adapting your response to the world in a way that assumes that the best is possible. Understanding what you can do to move forward. You might not be able to change what has happened, um, but what can you do to move forward to um, to keep going? Is that I will be able to get up and start over again as many times as I need to. It's a never give in feeling. As a crucial component of the truths that the body already has has mastered, that the mind has to learn from. When it comes to people that are disabled, they know their body and they know their mind more than anybody else does. So when other people tell you that you can't do that, it gets really frustrating. The self advocacy. Um, I think is sort of the spawn or the sprout of my resilience. The sort of interactions and experience I have with other people telling me I can't do what I want and the sort of thing where there's accessibility boundaries to keep me from creating the art that I want or the life that I want to live or whatever. There's absolutely no way that any of this sort of stuff is going to stop me. Whether it's, you know, navigating in the weather going out and dealing with people in public that don't think I should be there. People that consider it an inspiration that I actually managed to go to a store to buy a Snickers bar. Being able to, maybe not outlast, but last, has to do with existence. I think to exist is resilience in a lot of ways. It means interdependence. It means intersectionality. It means you're not alone. It means your story, uh, once it's told and shared with other people, can be someone else's survival guide. Having relationships that go beyond transactional, I think, gives me my the resources and the sense of I can do uh, or it can be done uh, which makes me really resilient. Going above and beyond what you do. It's very hard to ignore what what makes you lopsided in my case. Um, to ignore that pain and to ignore that the way people sometimes look at you and just push past it. So even the word has a, a particular weight that is damaging because it just suggests that you have to be resilient. Resilience assumes there was a before and then an after, that there is a good thing to return to, that you emerge stronger, that there are no negative consequences from a simple misfortune or trauma. And thus you are deemed a failure at resilience because you cannot manage any of the supposedly healthy ways of bouncing back from trauma. But maybe it isn't you who is a failure. Maybe it is the conception of resilience.